Hey all, Jekumod here and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Ram. Last time we were working our way through both Nenji and Takatoshi storylines, Takatoshi uh, being the more adorable of the two, him and Okino. Ah, that is a match made in somewhere that I probably shouldn't mention because dang that one's crazy. <laughs> also his love of Yakisoba Pod is still pretty funny. But, unfortunately, they're both locked, and they're both locked for a good while, so... We got three options. We got, uh, Miura. We could do Kisaragi. Or, we could jump back into Juro's store, and I think Juro's actually where I'm gonna jump into here, because I think his is probably gonna relock the fastest. So, let's see where his actually ends up beforehand, because, okay. you know, depending on time... Uh -huh. Uh, we may actually jump back into destruction and do a wave or two of that. Alright, where are we in this? Classroom after school 2. We could go out to the hallway, which has a lot of branches, holy shit. Uh, go to the video store, go to the hallway, what's this last one? I have no new keywords. I have... Let's go home. The fuck you. I'm ignoring you. Uh. Pretty much, yeah. See ya. Bye. Oh no! No, talk to me. Oh, oh, I can do something new with Miwako. Oh. It's about Kisaragi-san. Oh. Usami-chan. Yep. Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Because I'm curious. Ogata-kun was looking for her. Oh. Oh really? Maybe Nenji-kun. <laughs> so, oh. do you know? See, those two she I could... Uh... Tokisaka Shrine. Oh. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine. Oh. Is, that the one that's supposedly haunted? Is she looking for Natsu? No? Maybe. Uh, that depends I've on where this is in the timeline. Before. Something happened there. Yeah, something probably did happen there. I can't remember. That shrine oh, is pretty damn important. Hmm? Oh, wait, what? Please don't tell Nenji kun. Uh? The person she's meeting is a boy, so. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh, dear. Oh? They say the shrine by our school is haunted by ghosts. Uh, no. Kisaragi san's told me a bit about it. She seems interested in the shrine for some reason. Uh huh. Really? Is she interested in the shrine for a particular reason? Tsukasa Okino, Tokisaka Shrine. Okay, so one of the... So that's where that's gonna lead. But, uh, I was kinda hoping I'd find a different path. That other big branch, but maybe the game's not gonna give it to me until I clear out all these secondary branches first. So let's do that. Oh, right. I need my bag first, right? Or do I need the pain in the ass that is Kutashiba? What? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. Yep. Uh, oh. Interesting that one of these is new. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. Uh-huh. I think Karabe's actually figured it out. The Juro Izumi he was is not the Juro Izumi's memories we're getting. We're getting 426's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. Yeah, the fact that there is an other one. You know, this one's three times older than you. Yeah, huh? I kind of noticed. All right, can I get out of here now? Seriously? I want to leave. Let me pick up my book and leave. I guess I have to keep talking to this pain in the ass. <sighs> hmm. So it wasn't fully wiped. No, no, it wasn't. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. You are so not useful. What exa- 
48Q. I already told Yes, I've had this conversation. Watch this. I'm not no. No evil videotapes no. from you. We can't. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Uh-huh. Let me try one more time. Oh, no. Uh, did I accidentally trigger a cutscene that I shouldn't have? Crap. Give me my school bag. Get me the hell out of here. Okay, so I had to get rid of it. Oh, hey, Ninja. Hey, watch it. Uh. She's not here. Oh. Are you looking for someone, Ogatakun? Yes, he is. Yo, hey, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. <laughs> where she went? Actually, I just might. Hey, I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? Yep. The heck is she thinking? She's thinking she's going Wait, back to the future. I'll come with you. Ooh. There's something I want to check. Be my guest. <laughs> oh, this could end well. Well, at least this is definitely a new branch. Same day, heading home. This Tokisaka Shrine. I've been here before. Oh, I'm sure you have. I think I saw something. The memories are starting to come back. Oh. <laughs> go with Tokisaka. Go to Tokisaka Shrine with Ogata. This is going to lead right to an ending. But I can't remember any specifics. Hmm. What? Uh, what might have you forgotten? No. Oh. Takatoshi. What are you doing here? Ogata. Oh. You. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Oh, okay. I sure as hell do. Okay, so this is definitely post Neji storyline with him being stuck in the damn warehouse, because, yeah, that is obviously what they're talking about here. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. <laughs> Try it. See what happens. Oh, God dang it, you two. Uh, am I gonna have to get between you? Is that what this is? Ogatakun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Don't have time for this. No. Nope. Drop the punk act, Sorry you two. To point. We'll dance some other time. You know, you two and should really get into the Sentinels and do this Selfish next time. Bastard. The hell are you doing here, anyways? Looking for Okino. Mm -hmm. What happened to him? Yeah. Where's Okino at? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. Uh huh. She what? <laughs> just the two of them? Oh. Oh, that set him off. Is it you, Takatoshi? So this Okino you're looking for. Is that Sukasa Okino? Uh-huh. What? You know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. Yep, he hasn't but actually met Okino. The same person. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Oh. Got a feeling I know where they went to. Crap. <clears throat> what? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. Oh. By the way. Do you know how to work this time travel business? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably uh, not. You don't know either? Nope. <sighs> Neither one of you two yahoos knows how to work the gate. Great. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to step up and do it myself, right? No? Well... Shit, I guess somebody's gonna have to walk... <sighs> by? It was right here. What Something was... Something happened. <sighs> But what was it? Mm. Oh, yeah. I carried something over to the dumpster. What? You carried something over to the dumpster? The hell would you need uh, to dump into the old dumpster here? Uh oh. What's up? Oh, there's something bad there's in there. A corpse in there. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? The hell? No way. Cut the cra- Whoa! Isn't that- Oh no! Hey, give me a hand! Is this Morimura's corpse? Oh! Sure looks like a corpse. Oh! It's 426's android body! 
he did. Wait a minute. You say you put it in the dumpster. Oh, son of a bitch. Cute Toshiba must have hijacked you and forced you to do it while you were sleepwalking or something. But this thing's a robot. Oh, crap. It's a mouse on. Why? Why does it look like her? <laughs> Tamau. Tamau Karambe. Whoa. Wait, what? My grandma? Yep. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, you two haven't had much of an interaction between Takatoshi and Juro here. So, yeah, Tamau has probably not come up that often. The incident at the shrine. All right, let's see where this is actually going to go. Because now I'm really interested. It's dark out already. Uh huh. Well, that's okay. This was worth the detour. Ah. Uh, I finally got my hands on that movie. Oh, it's that now movie. I just need to get home and watch it. It's the unique videotape, the one he's always going on about. The one we still have no information about. Oh. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Hey, A. Eh? I should never have let you out of the underground. Just as I thought, you've returned. If only I hadn't spared you. Um, excuse me. Shouldn't have let you out of the underground. Huh. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. Oh, okay, so he definitely still has his memories at this point. You're handling this situation well. But Nira is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school... What? ...was to hide the lock from you. Quit stalling. Oh, right between the goddamn eyes. Morimura must have arranged this. Wow. Well, that was a hell of a thing. So A's the one that put 426 down finally. Um, or at least this incarnation of 426. She's not human. No shit, Sherlock. Also, her light's still on, so I wouldn't get too close. Uh, that's odd. If that's the case, then who was talking to him? Yep, exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm about to get my nano machines hijacked, aren't I? Oh, much longer. Oh crap. I approximate about five minutes. But that should be plenty. Oh dear. I need only enter your nano machines. Yep. I thought I was done for. But it seems today's my lucky day. I'm guessing this scene takes place before Kyutashiba ever shows up. And this is where he's actually going to first appear in Juro's head. Oh, Jesus. Yep. You've been mind jacked. Hey, what are you doing? I knew it. Juro. I what? knew it. Yep. You are 426. Every time I see you, I'm talking to 426. Son of a Who bitch. Who are you? Come on, man. Did you forget your best buddy? <laughs> I'm afraid. Ah. That's not very nice. Ah, God damn it, get out of my head. Yeah. Sorry. I remember now. Shit. You're... Shibakun. <laughs> Crap. Oh, hold on. I was attacked. I need to call the police. Nope. Attacked? Maybe you really did go nuts. <laughs> huh? Are you telling me this doll attacked you? Where'd you get that thing anyway? <laughs> oh, you sneaky bastard, 426. Don't just leave this thing out in the street. What if it causes a car accident? Oh. You'd be in deep shit, man. You rat. Yeah. You dirty right. rat. Let's just dump it in the trash. Uh-huh. Wait. Something's just... Not right? 
house. Yeah, no shit. It. Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. <laughs> Just pick it up already. Yeah, how are you gonna help? You can't touch anything. All right. Well, that answers a couple questions. <laughs> Intrusion. Well, now we know where Kutashiba came from. <sighs> wow. That was, I was not expecting that interaction to happen. 426, there he is. When the Tamau android was being used as 426's body, A. Sekigahara discovered his true identity and destroyed it. Soon after, Juro Karabe happens to pass by the destroyed remains and 426 transfers to his nanomachines, manifesting as Kutashiba. And our second one is nothing, looks like, right? Yep, nothing. And there it was. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking called it. I knew he was going to deadlock on me. <sighs> and it is destruction again. Second area, wave 10. So, I suppose, if that's the case, let's see if we can't get another wave in. All right, what's the plan? Oh. Second and third gens only. Ooh, that's gonna be tricky with Fuyusaka and Braid Overload. I'm down a person. I'm ready. You want me to go? Okay. Got it. And I have to take you down. Clear within 60 seconds shouldn't be a problem. But these guys. Alright, let's do some fiddling around and see what I get for chips and such. Alright, this is as good as it's gonna get, I think. So, we are all set and ready to go. What are we looking at for kaiju types? Many long-range specialized kaiju will appear, so probably a lot of twin tails and maybe a new type or two, but thankfully, the girls got some decent long-range shots of their own. Two of them have long-range missiles. I think two of them have the long-range freaking railgun. Uh, Karabe and both Ryoko have their sentry guns. Unfortunately, Fuyusaka's on brain overload, so I can't take her this time around, but let's see how we do. Oh, and as per your guys' requests, I will leave the uh, battles uncut from this point forward, even if I start to flail around a little, so I'll try and keep my flailing to a minimum. Is it just me, or is my robot a little slower than everyone else's? <laughs> The second generation Sentinels are more heavily armed than other models, but also more heavy in general. Yeah, but I get all the fun toys. They're well over 2,000 tons, so careful where you step. Don't want to crash through some underground structure. <laughs> the fusion reactor on it is pretty heavy, but its energy output is off the charts. Enough that it can power a plasma arc fusion cutter. Yeah, but I don't have any of those bought yet. That. You'll be slicing up kaiju like a knife through butter. Their original purpose was to break down massive pillars for high-rise buildings. Of course they'd be heavy. Oh. But in a close quarters fight, that 1300 ton grip strength will come in handy. <laughs> Damn, that sounds Second useful. Second generation models are linked to a squad of support units too. They'll respond to distress calls. If you can figure out the best time to use them, you might just turn the tides of battle. Oh, this is why but you guys wanted I the second and third gens. All right, same as the standard victory and loss conditions. All right, what are we looking at? Oh, nothing's on the board yet. All right, well, in that case, let's start dropping them sentry guns down. Let's put you there. The only other Gen 2 I've got is Ryoko, so she's also gonna be dropping, and thankfully, she has this. The hyper condenser lets her drop two sentry guns down at a time. So she's going to be dropping sentry guns like it's going out of style. The downside is the energy costs for those things are massive. Oh. What are we looking at? What are we looking at here? I see drill flies. I see more drill flies. I see twin tails. Yeah. Okay. So nothing overly spectacular. What do we got here? Long range missiles. Oh. Long range missile sounds pretty good to me. I won't back down. That raised a lot of hell there. You want another one in the tank? Could probably soften up and finish off most of these guys. Yep. And the sentry guns just go for the last hits. Nope, don't need to do anything at the moment. 
What can I do? God damn, that sentry gun just... It did! It wiped the whole wave out! Wow, okay, you're defending. Uh, what are you gonna do? You got nothing to do at the moment. I'm pretty much uh, on idle mode waiting. Okay. No, you are charging as well. So what do we... No, I don't have anything to... I don't have anything to do at the moment. Now I do. Oh my god. Is that a pair of high quads? That is a pair of high quads. Oh shit. Uh, crap. Do I have anything that punches armor? Uh, oh, okay. The anti-ground hunter missile. Thank you for the anti-ground hunter missile, baby! Ooh, that, that did good numbers. That did good numbers. What have you got to play with? I see a bunch of twin tails, and I see a couple drill flies. Might be the time to pull out the old big rail gun. Damn, that does good damage. Your turret still exists, so I don't need to drop another one at the moment. Ooh, you've also got the piercing rockets, but you're way too far away for that. So I'm gonna get you a touch closer. You, however, are gonna drop another sentry gun right there. I love these sentry guns so much. They're so disgustingly powerful. Oh, and here comes two more twin tail or not twin tails, high quads. Well, Jero, uh, shit, uh, I need to move you a touch closer. All right, now we can take both of these guys. Oh yeah, that did good damage. How much health do those guys even have? They have 6,000, so yeah, that was good damage. That was really good damage. Hmm. Might as well just use the rapid cannons. I know they're armored, so it's not going to do as much. How's that? What's our plan? You good, sir. Can you reach them with this? Yes, you can. Uh, it looks like I can only get one. So let's get the one that's got more health on it right now. Because <laughs> the sentry turrets are doing really good work. So you've also got the hunter missile. I am so glad I put these armor-piercing missiles on you guys. I don't think you can actually reach anything, girl. Uh, how's my other turrets doing? I think they're okay still. And no target available. So you'll idle for a few seconds while Juro gets up. And also launches some anti-ground piercing missiles of doom. And that was the end of the fight. Very nice. <laughs> that went a lot faster than I thought it would. Oh, jeez, that's not good. I found Miwachan with the drone. Oh, sweet. Or is she in you trouble? Oh, that's a relief. You said not no, good, so. Miwachan's heading right for the next terminal. Oh no. What? Miwako, what are you doing? Well, she doesn't know where they are. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people like that. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. And just We're counting on you. Chase her around with the sentinel a little bit. That'll get her moving in the right Where's way. Kisaraki? Where did she just run off to? Well, uh, um Kisaraki, what's your status? Answer me. She's busy, give her time. Kisaraki, the girl is Oh. I know. I'll get back to the battle once Miwa goes safe. It's Mini Morimura! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a thing. All right. Unfortunately, poor Kisaragi just didn't get to do much damage this time. Yep, it's those turrets. Those turrets do so much work. Seriously. Oh, I'll be fine alone. And Keitaro gets now Natsuno-san. So we should have easily aced this with any luck. Got my little win streak. 
Plenty of points. Pretty much no damage to anything. Yep, obvious S rank is obvious, thank you. Second gen sentinels. And... Our bonus objectives are both complete for Miwako Sawatari. And two more mystery points. Nope, we are not going to the next wave just yet. Instead, I've got some things to look at. Second gen is probably going to pop up first, right? Yep, there it is. These Sentinels have diverse armaments for both close combat and long range attacks. And they also have thick armor. They can weigh up to 2200 tons. The three Sentinels of this generation are numbers 13, 14, and 15. The pilot of each respective Sentinel during the final battle was Juro in 13, Ryoko in 14, and Iori in 15. During the battle in 2064, A pilot is Sentinel number 15. Hmm. It's because Morimura was on support. There's Miwako! Miwako Sawatari is a good friend of Iori and Tomi. The three of them often snack on something on their way home from school. She's kind and reserved girl who's self-conscious about her plump figure. Eh! Uh, you were perfectly fine. You, however, little Chihiro, you are a pain. Okay, so we've got two mystery points to spend. Hmm. 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 Which ones do I want? That's the cat. Okay, I really want Tetsuya Ida. Because there, look at this. Look at all this information. Holy shit. Tetsuya Ida is the substitute teacher assigned to Ryoko's class at Sakura High School. He's actually a member of an unofficial organization who forces Shinonome into battle. Ida is the director of the Special Investigation Unit. He serves as an advisor to the Anti-Kaiju Defense Team and helps Morimura gather members for their team. Back when he was a student, he supported Tomiki Saragi on her singing live streams under the screen name F8. He used to wear glasses and came off as a studious, serious young man but he tried to act cooler in high school to catch Kisaragi's attention. <laughs> yep, this is, uh, this is the shoe we saw earlier. He was in love with the deceased Kisaragi, so in order to revive her, he developed androids at Shikishima Industries in 2100. He transplanted the past Kisaragi into Maokurabe's AI into androids. It was believed that Ida died when he stayed behind during the 2064 Kaiju invasion, however, he was actually still alive, and took Shidenome into custody when she was being interrogated in 1984. Ida seeks to transplant the simulated personality of the revived Kisaragi android into the physical body of the current Kisaragi, but she rejects the idea. He then realizes he should have transplanted Kisaragi into the living body of the current one to begin with instead of reviving her as an android first. For that reason, he aims to reset the world and begin anew. Shit. Ooh. Oh, and who do I want for my other one? Who do I want for my other one? Because there are some choices here. There are some choices here. Let's see the so-called magical gun. A bizarre looking gun that Fluffy gives to Megumi Yakushiji. When whoever gets shot by this gun will have their short term memory of the incident distorted. This magical gun is identical to the one used by the woman who looks like Iori at the end of Jiro Karabe's dream, in which he killed everyone. The gun supposedly seals the power of witches. Those who get shot by the magical gun are forced into a game of survival. Monokuma would love this gun, by the way. In 1976, Nenji, who was seven years old at the time, gets injected with nano machines by Miss Morimura, the one considered to be the grown-up version of Fuyasaka. This is a crucial step in preparing the Sentinels an apparatus that uses compressed air to inject miniature capsules of nanomachines into a human body, also known as a syringe gun. Woo, dear, oh dear, oh dear, that was a big old dump of the old info. Whew. Destruction, we're a third of the way through it. Remembrance, we're two thirds of the way through it. And I think that is as good a point as any to stop for now. Whew. Well, Juro's locked down again, so which means we're down to just Tomi. Or Miura, so I have to think about which one we're gonna do for the next one. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe to join me as we continue down the insane rabbit hole that is this unloved game. I'm gonna be honest, I am so surprised this game is not doing as well as it is. I really am. It's, it, this, it's, it's almost criminal that this game is just unloved by the masses. This game is freaking awesome! 
So, yeah, go out there, shout to the world if you've seen this, that this game is awesome and other people should be playing it. Really. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.